goodness! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Yeah. Gotta turn the radio off. <laughs> No, I didn't start this vlog to tell you that I like my radio. No, we're going to get the truck inspected. The D-Max. Gonna get it inspected. Hopefully we pass. If we don't, I'll be disappointed in you. Don't disappoint me, baby. What do you think right now? Is it gonna pass or is it gonna fail? Let's we'll see if you're right. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Good. What you got? Uh, inspection. For, what's the name? Dalton, 10 o'clock. So did that pile pass? It did. Ten bucks. And this is yours. That's why I bought a diesel. Now don't get me wrong, I don't know all the rules and regulations, but what it seems like with diesels is you just pull up, and if they can pull into the garage, they're basically good. Not only are they easier to inspect, but it's also cheaper. Diesel life for the win. Now that my truck passed inspection, I can finally tear it apart. Well, maybe not tearing it apart is... Man, those birds are always so loud. Now if you have brothers and sisters, remember how you were a kid, you'd always fight, you'd always play. Sometimes they were both the same thing. I have a group of birds for some reason that always go into this bush and they fight all the freaking time. And I got two bees that look like they're ready to mate. You know? Tearing my truck apart probably isn't the right phrase or the correct phrase in this instance, but now that I have it inspected, I don't have to worry about uh, not having it back together. And granted, I'm not going to do anything too crazy, but there are a couple things I want to do, especially after going to that dealer and seeing this this version truck, blue four wheel drive, got the Duramax, like like the whole like the whole nine yards, just ten years newer. Kind of want to get this thing closer to that. I mean, obviously, the paint job isn't there, but if we can make the internals good, I'm happy, and she'll be happy. When I went to Chris's, this computer said that there was a couple things wrong with this truck. And I completely agree with that computer. The reason for that is, when I bought this truck, when I gave it some gas, or what I like to call juice, it used to scream like, like crazy. It would put you back in the seat and everything. Now, not so much. Saying that, only one thing changed from when it worked really good to when it didn't work so good, which is now. And that was I put an aftermarket fuel filter on. Here's our fuel filter. I think it's still restricting the flow. Saying that, I'm gonna clean out the air filter box, the air filter, and then we're gonna tear into that aftermarket fuel filter again. Sorry, I already installed the uh, air filter box, but I cleaned it all out with a pressure washer, cleaned around it with a pressure washer, took my air filter, cleaned it out with my air compressor. I think this air filter is only 2,000 miles old. You know what? Now that I'm thinking of it, when you sent this, I'm not going to use it yet, but it looks like it'll fit. Yeah, it'll fit. It's just this thing's still new. We'll put a little bit more miles on this and then we'll get to yours. Thanks for sending it. Installed. So now that I believe I have the air situation all taken care of, I don't really think there was an air situation after I replaced that air filter when I was coming home from Florida. But you know, the air compressor cleaned it out a little bit more. We cleaned that air. We also cleaned out the air box. That, that's gotta help it at least a little bit. Preventive maintenance kind of thing. Now the reason why I asked you guys if the Duramax would pass or fail the inspection is because before I had this truck, I always had beaters. Well, I guess I still have beaters. I mean, this thing's 12 years old. The BMW is 19 years old. So the inspection was always kind of complicated because like, yeah, my car would go or my truck would go and it would stop and the horn would work and the lights would work and everything like that. But the the sensors would, would always go off. Like, like the check engine light. Do you have one of those? Fortunately for me, I don't have one anymore. I always had them on all my vehicles all the time. So when it came to the inspection, I had to figure out how to fix it real quick, pass inspection, and that would give me 365 days to pass go and collect $200. That was actually one of the reasons why I bought this truck, was because the inspections on diesels are so easy, like I said before. But I bring this up because, first of all, I know when you start your Department of Motor Vehicle journey, it usually kind of sucks. Unless you have a good paying job, your parents buy you a car, or you have a famous dog that wills you his money. I mean, that's the only way you're really going to beat the system. The, the starting from the bottom and now we're here system. I started with that system. I, I only had junk. Anyways, here's our fuel filter. Time to rip it off. Kyle and I screwed with it. We drilled some more holes in it. We bored out these outer holes, put two new holes. Actually, it looks like three new holes. 
But now I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five more new holes to try to get some more horsepower. Now I'm not sure what the people that invented the inspection would think of this, but all I know is I, I want more power, I want more torque. And I think I can make it happen just on this vise. And uh, probably using this tool right here. This is getting ridiculous. Look at all these shavings. I'm treating the bit like a nice woman. A very sophisticated woman. Treating her well, she's gonna do the job for us just fine. This keeps happening. I, I believe this means that I'm doing it right. You know what this is? No, this isn't shaved aluminum or chips or anything like that. This is horsepower, baby. Torque! I'm not gonna have to clean this up, am I? It's a fuel filter for goodness sake. It'll be able to clean that, right? If you had something to clean that, you'd have one good fuel filter. Or any kind of filter that is. That's messy. That's dirty. It's very shiny. I got the fuel filter reinstalled. Now I'm priming the system. I'm very happy to say this statement. Let's go test it out. You know how I have this cap siren in my truck? It wasn't working for a long time, but I think I finally fixed it. Let's, oh yep, it works. First test, first test. It's back! Woohoo! That's awesome, that is so freaking cool. Not only did we clean out the air filter, Get that jet engine, get that jet engine sound back. But we also got the siren hooked back up. A, a wire came undone. Not surprising with the bumpy roads we have here in New York State. But oh my, that's what it was. Oh my goodness, I'm just so pumped. The cop truck is back. A cheap pass inspection. I think I went through like 10 gallons doing. I want to say one more thing. I am not going to get sick of that.